Good evening. This is Archie Infermo, Aquarian Solutions, January 4th, 2012. Moon in Taurus, square Neptune. Perhaps one of the most difficult times in terms of what you believe, perceptions of what you believe, creating a time of a lot of misunderstandings. But this will pass quickly, 12.47 a.m., that will be exact, but it's the Mercury square Mars aspect which will be repeating itself. It was exact on December 31st, and it brought in quite the New Year's, uh, an arson in L.A., or arsonists, at least they captured one of them, the killer on the loose in Mount Rainier, the survivalist who died in the snow. That's sort of a contrast. In fact, there's been quite a few anomalistic, if we can use a word like that, but eccentric, unusual things happen this year. I'm looking at this news. I, I didn't even put it on my site. A Navy fighter pilot implicated in Coronado murder-suicide. What the hell is going on? Um, police say that John Robert Reeves, 25, is the only one of the four to have died of self-inflicted gunshot wounds, and his death is ruled a suicide, while the three others are classified as homicides. Man, this is getting a little crazy. Um, other things, and let me just set the stage for you. We've got Mars in Virgo till July 3rd. I've mentioned that. Uh, Mercury moving as quickly as it does within a 30-day cycle. We all expect squares there. Venus will be squaring Mars, which can actually be a great time for new relationships. The chemistry will be high, uh, but it's also another one of those contentious aspects. Because Mars in Virgo, Mars being stationing on July 23rd, the same day as the year of the water dragon beginning. And also on July on uh, January 23rd, there is a new moon in Aquarius, 2.39 a.m. East Coast and 11.39 p.m. on the 22nd on the West Coast. Uh, but what's coming up right away, and the reason that I'm really here, is that the full moon in Cancer starts on the 8th, and it's exact on the 9th in the Strait of Hormuz. You must know by now that there is a military buildup there, the potential that a blockade won't let oil through, and that oil prices can go sky high. Neptune being void, of course. In other words, it's not going to be meeting any aspects till it changes into Pisces on February 3rd creates this whole aura with oil and water, um, and this is the year when the water wars really get going, so that there's a, a kind of an unreality about this, <clears throat> and, and of course economic conditions are very unstable, and there's a chance of some major devaluations there, but Mars is also void, of course, in Virgo. And this Mars void, of course, is really about personal survival before anything involving a group, and it can lead to some panic. So I want to talk about this full moon. Aries is rising, so Mars is very strong, and this is in the Gulf uh, or Strait of Hormuz area. Actually, it's near Oman where I set the chart. Mars will be opposing Ceres and Pisces. Pisces is huge here, of course. Vesta is in Pisces. Chiron's in Pisces. The Sun in Capricorn and Moon in Cancer. So we've got the full solstice axis going on with the patriarchal Sun. Trine Mars. So there is that possibility of pulling the trigger here, but I don't think it's going to happen. <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to talk about real quick is heading to this full moon we may have a meteorological phenomena something that akin to the hundred mile hour winds plus in the UK that we had in in Scotland Mercury will enter Capricorn late on January 7th 
and will be square Uranus on the 8th. So that's one of those things where eccentricities and talk about anomalies and strange things will be happening. I just want to go over a couple more very quick news stories that I'm looking at. Single tuna fish fetches record at Japanese auction. So the ancient ruler of Pisces is Jupiter. Jupiter has just gone direct in Taurus. And let's take a quick look. Record paid $736,000 for a single tuna. Yeah. A 269-kilogram, 592-pound bluefin caught off the coast of the Japanese northern Amori prefecture. The other story that I'm catching here, and then and remember, the moon being in uh, square Neptune can create some of this weirdness. But this one's about strange crystals found in Russia that reveal the potential of an outer space origin, a rock made of a type of crystal never before seen outside of the laboratory is most likely a meteorite from the early days of the solar system. So here again, Mercury transiting in Sagittarius is about deep space and lots of things about space are on our mind. <clears throat> so I'm going to skip over very, very quickly again into the Aquarian New Moon, Pacific Coast, that's January 22nd, 11.39 p.m. So the buildup between the full moon and the new moon is crucial. On that new moon, Mars is stationing at 23 degrees, Virgo, and it is going to be close to Neptune in the U.S. Sibley chart, July 4, 1776, 510 p.m. And what that means is there is going to be, even if this doesn't happen, there's that march to war, the illusion of being the strong protector, uh, John Wayne, if you will, because Mars is square, Mars in the U.S. Sibley chart, and it is retrograding, so they will be in an exact formation. So that's something to be aware of. <clears throat> The other thing that's coming up, and the Sun trying Mars is actually on the 12th, so all, the, all these days are crucial. The other thing that we want to look at is there is a grand trine in Earth, and that's happening in March, in the middle of March, and there's been rumors about the possibility of a huge geocosmic seismic tsunami event right around the new moon on the 22nd of March in Aries. So those are things to look at. Um, let me just take a quick look here. I'm going to say briefly that this is a year that you'll never forget. No, it is not the end of the world or the doomsday or apocalypse that uh, everybody seems to be talking about. Uh, no, quite the contrary. It's a chance for some real major change, and we can really make our landing a lot softer as we head into 2016, since Uranus is square Pluto all the way into that time period. So... Time now, 10.04 p.m. Pacific Time. This is Art G. Infirmo with Aquarian Solutions. And I will be moving much more into individual charts as we go into 2012. So look for that on my website, aquasoul.com, in the services section. Uh, less emphasis on political, more on really making a sustainable societal change cultural transition as we enter the age of Aquarius. Good evening. Have a wonderful day.